Hi, welcome to the story of art. My name is Karel Huidekoper. Today I'd like to tell you something about a, uh, an amphora made by a man called Exequius in um, 530 BCE, roundabout. Um, I'll move myself to the corner so you can see it for yourself. Um, today you can find it in the Vatican Museum and for good reason, it was found in an Etruscan tomb, uh, so it was found in modern-day Italy. And that tells you some, something about the quality and the fame of, of these works, because um, they were sold all over the Mediterranean and were really sought after. Um, also, we know for sure that it's, that it's by Exequius because it's signed by him. And um, sometimes you would have pottery, the, the finest pottery would could be signed by their by its maker and then you would usually have a signature for the potter and one for the painter and in this case Exequius did, did both it's what you call a um, a, a black figured vase or black, black figured pottery which is um, opposed to red figured pottery um, red figured is a is a different technique that came after this one and was invented about 520 BCE, so about 10 years or so after this was made, and um, this also tells you that this is the the height of the development of this type of painting, and you can see that it's um, ex extremely detailed. Now let me just zoom in a little bit, and you can see um, how incredibly detailed it was painted. All these. The, the dress the, where they're these, these sort of mantles they have, they have all these flowers and patterns in them. Um, they're, um, they're weapons that are standing around them. They're, you can see almost every hair of their heads and beards. and um, It's in, incredibly well um, painted. But as, you, as I'll show you, it's also, um, um, you can also see their emotions much more than you might, might see um, at first glance. Um, it's a story about Achilles and Ajax. That again, we know mainly because their names are on the on the amphora. Um, look, here's Ajax and there's Achilles. So that tells us who they are. And that also tells you sort of what um, sort of range of stories they're from. It, it sounds like a story from the Iliad. The Iliad, of course, the story of the last year of 10 year long siege of Troy. Um, Strangely enough, it's not in the Iliad, this particular story. There's no scene where they play a game together, because that's what they're doing. Um, but there's many different versions of the Iliad, because basically it's a collection of, um, of songs that were sung by troubadours, and they connect the, the um, sort of uh, loosely based um, culture that the, the many different Greek city-states shared. Um, so there's stories that are in the in the let's say canonized Iliad, and there are stories that are well, there's still songs about them. But this is one of the outside songs. And um, what they're doing here is they're they're playing a game, and it, and the game involves dice. I know this because they are um, they say something. There's words coming out of their mouths. And Achilles, over here, says four. And Ajax says three. So apparently Achilles is winning. Which must um, make um, uh, Ajax a bit tense. He's always the, the second biggest of everything uh, in, in the Iliad. The Achilles is the biggest warrior, the, the top-notch guy, and he's always second place, uh, Ajax. And... You can see that in, in, a, in a way because he's, he's tense. He's more tense than, than Achilles is. Um, for instance, you can see they're, they're holding these, these spears. They, they fight with spears in the, in the entire Iliad. You never hear of swords, or hardly ever. Um, and he has them loosely in his hand. Achilles is squeezing them together. That's why his two lances are almost parallel. And you can even see it in his in the more subtle detail of his his foot. Let me see if I can raise his foot here. Yes, there it is. It's just off the ground. You see that? And um, because it's that makes his whole body 
tense. He's um, he's much more excited about the game than than um, Achilles is. He really, really wants to win, and he's losing. Now, why do they have all these weapons here? Well, of course, that identifies that they're in the in the war. Um, but it's uh, the story is that they're preparing for a battle, and so they get all their gear together, their shields and, and lances and their helmets, and then there's a then there's a pause. There's a for some reason they have to wait, and and Achilles and Ajax get bored and they grab a game and they start to play, and they are um, and they're good friends and they enjoy their game and they have fun and and what happens is. And they're so engrossed in their game that they forget all about the battle, and the battle begins without them. And um, to me, that's such a lovely story about about friendship, um, and um, something that we should all probably do more: uh, get together with a few friends and um, play a game, just chit chat, and and forget about the world for a while. So, I guess that's homework for the next time. See you soon. Bye.